One of these circuit breakers is a knockoff. I tested both a genuine certified circuit breaker and a clone knockoff circuit breaker to see what would happen. And let's just say the results, they were pretty scary. I'm gonna show you how to identify the clones, which are everywhere by the way, and why you or your electrician should never install one of these in your home. First up is the genuine Eaton circuit breaker. We're gonna run this at 30 amps and we'll see how long this lasts before it shuts itself off. Okay, there we go, 22.9 seconds. Now you can see on the thermal imaging camera here that this got up to about 152 degrees before it turned off. Let's load up this little knockoff here that I've also cut out and let's see what happens when we do those same exact tests. All right, we're gonna start off with our same 200% amp tests. Let's see if it's gonna trip here. Okay, 65 seconds. Actually, I take that back. This one did not trip. What actually happened is the 20 amp circuit breaker back at my sub panel, that one tripped. This one, not so much. This is when I decided to get a little crazy with this and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna bump this thing up to a 30 amp. If I put a 30 amp breaker at the panel on, on this, it should be able to handle up to 60 amps of power without an issue. So I wired it up. And it wasn't long before I noticed something kind of peculiar. I smelled it and I saw it. Smoke coming out of the circuit breaker.